Hello, Bolavi. It's your girl, Sam KM, back at it with another video. Welcome again to my YouTube channel. If you still haven't subscribed and you're watching this, I counting Kalimdama. As you can see, I have my apron on and I'm going to be doing a bake with me. I'll be making. Yes, it? Can you figure it out? Mm, yeah. I'll be making marble pudding. Yes, yes, yes. Marble pudding, the famous favorite south african desserts but i'll just show you how to make it try keep the video as short as possible and i hope you'll enjoy yeah let's get on with it so i start by cracking two eggs as y'all can see i am taking my own sweet time this step can be kind of tricky for me at times yeah i know at my old age then you add one cup of sugar it can be a slight bit more just depends on how sweet you want your marble pudding to be then you just whisk 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 away mix 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 yeah 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 Ugh, it was the step and then you add two generous tablespoons of apricot jam this is the main ingredient and in what makes marvel pudding marvel pudding it's not marvel pudding without the apricot jam um then you just whisk it all together mix 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 hey guys mix 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 ah no ways so sorry and then, um followed by Yo, I'm so whisking. Okay, followed by half a cup of milk. I measure it using my eyes. Then you'll mix it just a bit. Then you add a teaspoon of vanilla essence. As you can see, I've run out. But eh, Sana, I have to work with what I have. It's not a train smash. So I'll just add what I have now. It is what it is. <laughs> you know what, as they say. Um, whisk, whisk, whisk together. Whisk. Oh, before I forget. Vinegar. Yes. So one teaspoon of vinegar. I also just measure it with my eyes, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's enough. Any vinegar is fine even apple cider vinegar works so you're just gonna whisk it all together whisk with now time for my dry ingredients so i just added one cup and a half of flour not self-raising then i'm gonna add a teaspoon of baking soda i also just measure with my eyes okay yeah, that's enough then i add a teaspoon of baking powder mainly because i want my marvel pudding to rise to a significant height okay that's enough guess not what um then you're also gonna add a pinch of salt any salt works it's just that this is the only salt that we have in this house now you're gonna um gradually mix your wet ingredients into your dry ingredients then you just whisk it all together whisk 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 until you get the consistency you want it needs to be nice smooth and thick the step can be really tiring i know but trust me it's not going to mean anything once you have the amazing dessert i think we're ready for it for our next step so i'm just gonna butter my baking tray using butter spray and cook also works but i mean this is the method i grew up watching my aunts and my mom bake i like to keep it traditional so just spray and cook for indoni <laughs> anyways make sure that i butter my pan even on the sides um i think that's enough now i'm just gonna pour my mix into my baking tray um first mix um whisk it for a bit and then just pour make sure that i get each and everything onto the tray make sure that not even a single bit goes to waste yeah i think that's enough now now i'm just going to make sure that it is distributed evenly um on the tray now i'm gonna put my marvel pudding in the oven to bake for 30 to 45 minutes at 180 degrees celsius now i'm going to show you all how to make the sauce to drizzle on top of the marvel pudding so i start by adding half a cup of butter i also just measured with my eyes to see how much i need also going to add 250 milliliters of um cream fresh any cream works quarter cup of sugar you can add more it depends on how sweet um you want your marvel pudding to be you can also add a drop of um oros mango 
or pineapple juice. The step is not compulsory. I just add the juice to give my Marvel pudding a significant and unique taste. To just add that zing. I, lo I really love experimenting with flavors. So you're just going to whisk that all together. Whisk, whisk. Before um, pouring it in the pot to boil for a couple of minutes. You see I added more sugar because um, it just wasn't as sweet for me so now you're just gonna pour it in the pot just to boil for five to ten minutes you can also stir gradually to get the right consistency um, of the sauce now voila i present to you my marvel pudding so you're just gonna add the sauce um that we just made and you're gonna make sure that the sauce is distributed thoroughly throughout the marvel pudding now i'm just gonna cut it up and plate wow guys i snapped would you look at that yes girl i am a bakshati man yes my bakshati guys mr lm is wasting his time um so yeah i think i snapped now i'm just gonna add the custard that i made earlier on i'm not gonna show the steps because i mean smatala guys who can't make custard so that's it i will indulge as you all can see back on Mandy Arpa. That's it for my video guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And oh my imagine marrying non do missus I'm getting so much done. So yeah, I'm just gonna continue. Comments if you wanna see more baking or cooking videos. I'm out. Oh.